upang pangunahan ang seremonyal na paggawad ng titulo ng lupa sa mga beneficiaryo ng reformang pansakahan, ang ating Pangulo, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., katuwang ang kalihim ng kagawaran ng reformang pansakahan, Conrado Estrella III. Mula sa Nueva Ecija, Binibining Catalina Bernabe Corpus. Mula sa Bulacan, Ginoong Napoleon Tobias. Ituloy natin ang reformang agraryo, hindi lamang sa pamimigay ng lupa. At, at sa mga magsasakang hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin lupa, kung hindi upang tuluyan na sila'y palayain mula sa pagkakautang na pumipigil sa kanilang ganap na pagmamayari sa lupang bigay sa kanila ng pamahalaan. Sa ilalim ng mga batas agraryo, ang bawat magsasaka ay may utang na katumbas ng halaga ng lupang binigay sa kanila. Kailangan nilang bayaran ito sa loob ng hindi hihigit ng 30 taon. Dagdag, dagdag ang 6% na interest bago tuluyang maging kanila ang lupa. Panahon na para makalaya sila sa pagkakautang na ito. This is why, on September 13, 2022, I signed the Executive Order Number 4, imposing a one-year moratorium on the payment of amortization on agrarian debt by our beneficiaries. Ikinararangal ko na pirmahan ng batas na ito upang tuluyan ng makalaya sa pagkakautang ang ating mga magsasaka mula sa araw na ito. However, I believe that genuine agrarian emancipation requires more than just the distribution of land. If there was a very important lesson that Lolo Kondring, Australia, and my father, then the president, learned was that the handing over the, the handing of titles to, uh, to our agrarian reform beneficiaries is but the first step. Free land distribution must go hand in hand with broadening the provision of credit facilities and support services in the form of farm inputs, equipment, and facilities to our farmers, as well as the construction of more farm-to-market roads. These efforts will yield more sustainable farms and higher incomes for our farmers. Dami po natin nagawa. Ngunit, ang pinakamalaki pong nagawa ng inyong administrasyon at ang inyong hiningi sa House of Representatives at sa Senate, inyo pong ipinangako, hindi po napako, natupad na po ngayon, lalagdaan na po ninyo ang New Agrarian Emancipation Act. Ito po ay condonation of payment of amortization fees by the ARBs. At nagpapasalamat kami sa Land Bank of the Philippines, Department of Finance, Department of Budget and Management, kay Senate President at sa mga Senador at ang nag-shepherd po sa Senate ng bill na ito ay walang iba kung hindi si Senator Cynthia Villar. At uh, ang inyo pong kapatid, Senator Amy Marcos. Nagpapasalamat din po kami sa lahat ng mga magiting na congressman. Kung hindi ako nagkakamali, wala hong kumontra sa bill na ito sa House of Representatives. At special mention po dito sa kaibigan natin, ang ating uh, kaibigan na Bicolano, si Congressman Joey Salceda, 
sa kanya pong pag-shepherd nitong bill na ito. At ganun din po si Congressman Sol Chungalaw. Nandito yan. At lahat ng mga principal authors. Of course, kahit wala ho rito, si Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez. Ngayon, Mr. President, yung tanong ninyo sa akin noon na kaya ba natin kaya? Kaya nating pansinin? Pabayaan na ho natin sila ang humusga dito po sa ating nagawa. Naniniwala po kami na isang malaking karangalan para sa inyo na taglay nyo ang pangalan ng inyong yumaong ama. President Ferdinand Edralin Marcos Sr. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Maraming salamat sa ating uh, Executive Secretary, uh, Secretary uh, uh, Lucas Bersamin. Please, please take your seat. Ating uh, uh, namumuno ng ating Senado, ating, uh, ating Upper House, the Senate President, Senate President Mig Subiri, at lahat ng membro ng uh, Senado na nandito ngayong umaga na ito, dito sa napakahalaga at napakamakahulugan uh, na okasyon. The uh, Agrarian Reform Secretary, who we have just heard from, uh, Agrarian Reform Secretary Conrado Estrella, uh, ay, ay parang, pa, parang gusto ko sabihin si Lolo Kondring, pagka nang, nakita ko yung ano, eh, Agrarian Reform, but you are holding up the tradition that uh, our forefathers uh, put and began before us. Uh, the late uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, <laughs> I actually mean he's just late. He's still he's he's still okay. He's still alive. <laughs> uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez and our uh, the members of uh, the House of Representatives, without whose important uh, support we could not have done any of this. Uh, the members of the cabinet uh, here present. I think uh, we will notice that halos kompleto ang kabinete ngayong araw na ito dahil na talaga ay napakahalaga nitong ating ginagawa ngayong umagang ito. My fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, magandang, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sa kaunahan kong first of the, first, na State of the Nation Address, ay nasabi ko, the Filipino people, ay sinasabi ko sa ating, at ipinangako ko sa ating mga kababayan, na itutuloy ang agrarian reform program. I am here today to build on that promise because our beneficiaries deserve nothing less. Ituloy natin ang reformang agraryo, hindi lamang sa pamimigay ng lupa at, at sa mga magsasakang hanggang ngayon ay wala pa rin lupa kung hindi upang tuluyan na sila'y palayain mula sa pagkakautang na pumipigil sa kanilang ganap na pagmamayari sa lupang bigay sa kanila ng pamahalaan. Sa ilalim ng mga batas agraryo, ang bawat magsasaka ay may utang na katumbas ng halaga na lupang binigay sa kanila. Kailangan nilang bayaran ito sa loob ng hindi hihigit ng 30 taon. Dagdag, dagdag ang 6% interest bago tuluyang maging kanila ang lupa. Panahon na para makalaya sila sa pagkakautang na ito. This is why, on September 13, 2022, I signed the Executive Order Number 4, imposing a one-year moratorium on the payment of amortization on agrarian debt by our beneficiaries. Yet I know that the government can and must do more to alleviate the plight of our agrarian reform beneficiaries. I thank both houses of the legislative branch for heeding the call 
for social justice for our farmers by swiftly enacting the new Agrarian Emancipation Act, which I will sign into law today. I thank all of those who have been part of this effort. It is something that we have uh, been attempting to achieve for a very long time. Nung pumasok po ako at binati ko ang aking ate, uh, si Senator uh, Aimee, ay kaako sa kanya, ikaw talaga yung original, original author. Mula nung nagsimula siya bilang senador, ay pinaglalaban na niya ito. At magpapasalamat kami kay Senator Cynthia na talagang nakikita natin ay nasa puso niya ang uh, kalagayan ng ating mga magsasaka, lahat ng buong agrikultura. At uh, siya, ay, uh, siya ay pinaglaban naman niya, pinag-sponsor naman niya sa Senado. At ganun din sa ating mga magigiting na congressman na ay uh, hindi tumutol at ay kinilala at nakita kaagad ang gano'n kaimportante itong ating ginagawa at uh, gano'n kahuli na tayo sa panahon. Marami na po tayong inantay na ilang administrasyon at hindi pa natin nagawa ito. Kaya napakalaking karangalan para sa akin na tumayo, tumayo ngayon sa harap ninyo at masabi na ito'y gagawin na nating batas at napagbigyan na natin at ipinaglaya natin ang ating mga magsasaka at agrarian reform beneficiaries sa kanilang pagkalubog sa utang. This law condones all unpaid amortizations including interest and surcharges for awarded lands. A total of 610,054 agrarian reform beneficiaries will benefit from this new Agrarian Emancipation Act. Ngayon, ang sinasabi ang mawawala sa pamahalaan ay 57.65 billion. Eh yan lang, eh, alam niyo naman po, yung uh, pagbayad na yan ay nasa papel lang yan. Ang katotohanan talaga, eh pwede natin ang tawagan, tawagin na dormant receivable ito. Dahil alam naman namin, walang kakayahan ang mga magsasaka na bayaran na itong napakalaking utang na ito. Kaya napakatama naman na napunta sa pamahalaan. At kami naman, ay eh, yan ang trabaho ng pamahalaan upang suportahan kayo, upang pagandahin ang uh, ating agrikultura, upang bigyan kayo ng pagkakataon. At upang ma masabi natin na ginagawa natin lahat upang maipakain natin lahat ng ating mga mamamayang. The government will also assume the obligation of our beneficiaries for the payment of just compensation to landowners under the voluntary land transfer or direct payment schemes for the benefit of 10,201 ARBs with a total payable of 206 million pesos. Sa ngalan ng ating mga magsasaka at ng sambayan ng Pilipino, Taus puso akong nagpapasalamat sa Kongreso at sa Senado sa, agrar sa agarang pagpa pagpanday ng batas na ito. Ikinararangal ko na pirmahan ng batas na ito upang tuluyan ng makalaya sa pagkakautang ang ating mga magsasaka mula sa araw na ito. However, I believe that genuine agrarian emancipation requires more than just the distribution of land. If there was a very important lesson that Lolo Kondring, Australia, and my father, then the president, learned was that the handing over, the, the handing of titles to, uh, to our agrarian reform beneficiaries is but the first step. Free land distribution must go hand in hand with broadening the provision of credit facilities and support services in the form of farm inputs, equipment, and facilities to our farmers as well as the construction of more farm-to-market roads. These efforts will yield more sustainable farms and higher incomes for our farmers. As President, I assure you, we will never stop providing our farmers with the support that they need to help make their farms more productive while also improving the lives and that, their lives and that of their families. Kung iibayuhin natin ang pagpapaulad sa ating mga sakahan, Dapat din natin, lalong paun na rin, ang pamumuhay ng ating mga magsasaka at ng kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. 
So let us expedite the individual titling of lands covered by collective cloas to secure the agrarian rights of our farmers. Isayan ang pinakaun inuna namin ni uh, ni Secretary Conrad at uh, sinabi namin ay siguro ang para mag makapag issue na tayo ng titulo ay kailangan yung consolidated cloa ay mabigyan na, eh, paghati-hati na para alam ng, uh, uh, ng beneficiary kung saan yung lupa niya at maisasaka na niya. Kaya yan ang inuna namin at maganda naman sa aking palagay ang naging performance ng Department of Agrarian Reform sa pagbigay uh, at pag, uh, pagbuo ng sistema upang maayos na natin yung consolidated cloas at maari ng magsaka ang ating mga beneficiary. We will also enhance the efficiency of agrarian case resolution systems for faster outcomes. We need to revitalize the agricultural sector, and so we endeavor to attract and train new generations of young farmers who will become the driving force behind a modernized and profitable agriculture sector that fuels sustainable rural development. With unity and with diligence, we will address these concerns and make agrarian emancipation a tangible reality for our hardworking farmers. It is time to give our farmers the recognition that they deserve as the providers of our nation's sustenance, the providers of life to all of Filipinos. Panahon na na upang ang ating mga magsasaka na silang nagpapakahirap araw-araw upang lagyan ng pagkain ang mga hapagkainan ng ating mga tahanan ay mabigyan ng atensyon at pagpupugay na akma sa kanilang kontribusyon sa ating bayan. Inihimok ko rin ang ating mga agrarian reform beneficiaries na patuloy na alagaan at payabungin ang ating mga sakahan. Tutulungan at susuportahan namin kayo sa inyong bawat hakbang upang kayo ay umunlad, magtagumpay at makatulong sa pagbibigay ng sapat at masustansyang pagkain sa ating mga mamamayang. Let us work together to realize this dream, our dream as it was my father's dream, to give every Filipino farmer and his or her family a life beyond mere survival, a life free from want, from hunger, or fear of the future, a life of dignity, abundance, and prosperity. Mabuhay ang ating mga agrarian reform beneficiaries. Mabuhay ang magsasakang Filipino. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, President Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. It is now time to witness the ceremonial signing of the new Agrarian Emancipation Act. To join the President on stage, may we have Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri, House Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, Senator Cynthia Villar, Senator Aimi R. Marcos, Representative Solomon Chungalao, Representative Jose Salceda, Executive Secretary Lucas Bersamin, Special Assistant to the President Antonio Lagdameo, Secretary Conrado Estrella III, Secretary Benjamin Jokno, and Presidential Advisor on Legislative Affairs Mark Yandro Mendoza. Once again, it is now time to witness the ceremonial signing of the new Agrarian Emancipation Act. Upon the President's signature, the reconciled version of House Bill No. 6336 and Senate Bill 1850 shall now become known as Republic Act No. 11953, entitled, An Act Emancipating Agrarian Reform Beneficiaries, or ARBs, from Financial Burden by Condoning All Principal Loans 
unpaid amortizations and interests, and accepting payment of estate tax on agricultural lands awarded under the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. The law seeks to emancipate agrarian reform beneficiaries from the burden of the land they till by condoning all unpaid amortizations and interests in connection with the loans they secured under the Comprehensive Agrarian Reform Program. Thank you, Mr. President. At this point, the President will now grant a photo opportunity. For first batch, may we ask our distinguished men and women to remain on stage for the photo opportunity to be joined by the principal sponsors of the bill. Upang pangunahan ang seremonyal na paggawad ng titulo ng lupa sa mga beneficiaryo ng reformang pansakahan, ang ating Pangulo, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., katuwang ang kalihim ng kagawaran ng reformang pansakahan, Conrado Estrella III. Mula sa Nueva Ecija, binibining Catalina Bernabe Corpus. Mula sa Bulacan, Ginoong Napoleon Tobias. Mula sa Pampanga, Ginoong Romeo Gulapa. Mula sa Batangas, Ginoong Apolinario Makatangay. Mula sa Laguna, Binibining Fauta Novero bilang kinatawa ni Binibining Marciana T. Laluz. Mula sa Quezon, Ginoong Epifanio Villegas. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. We have just witnessed the historic signing of the new Agrarian Emancipation Act. And now, we shall proceed with a press briefing with His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., Agrarian Reform Secretary, Conrado Estrella III, and Executive Secretary, Lucas Bersamin. And we will start with Chona Yu of Radio Enquirer. Sir, good morning. Ayan. Good morning. Sir, this is a milestone legislation as this is one of your commitments in your SONA last year. How important is this to farmers? We cannot overstate the importance of uh, what, uh, uh, what we have done today, uh, not only for the uh, agrarian reform beneficiaries who have been waiting uh, for some relief for a very, very long time. Uh, we have been talking about this uh, for a decade uh, and that uh, everyone seemed to agree that it was time for us to look very closely on the financial situation, not of the banks, not of the financing institutions, but of our farmers. And so uh, it, was, uh, it has been uh, uh, the general consensus that it is, uh, there is no reason for us to continue to, uh, to chase the, the unpaid loans, the unpaid benefits uh, that, uh, um, that uh, have ballooned over the many, many years. And so to wipe the slate clean and for, the, for uh, our uh, agrarian reform beneficiaries, there are two parts to this. Number one was the resolution of the actual titling of the so-called consolidated CLOAS. 
having done the, having started to tell, to undertake that process we then were able now to perfect the titles for our uh, agrarian reform uh, beneficiaries but what would that do if bibigyan nga natin sila ng lupa bibigyan natin sila ng tulong nakalubog pa naman sa utang kaya hindi makakaahon yan hindi mga hindi hindi wala well, hindi na hindi na sila makabawi kaya let's give after all uh, this is uh, this is so important to our economy it is so important to our survival as a country that uh, the agricultural sector is strong and that the agricultural ag agricultural sector is a important part and that's what this does because it, now we are recognizing and bringing into the uh, whole system of our economy, uh, our agrarian reform beneficiaries, giving them not only a livelihood, giving their families uh, hope for the future, but also the support that we in government and the rest of the country need for their agricultural, uh, agricultural hard work. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Okay. Next.